Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time reviewing on issue 8 of Star Wars Dark Times. Now as you know, yeah, Dark Times was part of the original Star Wars timeline before Disney bought Star Wars and Clean the Slate. This one is meant to take place, yeah, during the whole Order 66 thing and the rise of the Empire, and how, yeah, what remains of the Jedi Order trying to stay alive. So, let's get on the story. It starts off with, yeah, Hardin and his men and his crew trying to escape. Well, yeah, Haku, as well as his men, trying to take down Lambra. And we see how, yeah, we kind of see how Hardin tries to get Christ and Sniffles to escape. But of course, Sniffles mainly takes the shot for Christ. And we see him saying, put them, them to safety. Sniffles, I knew this would happen the first time I do anything for somebody else. And I get killed for it. And we kind of see how, yeah, we kind of see how Lambra mainly manages to escape. And Hacker is furious and tries to get, get his men to get to the ships. So of course, after holding down Hardan and his crew at gunpoint, we kind of see how one of his men lets them know that basically all of their ships had been grounded. But of course, in fury, guns him down. So even figures out that they aren't really concerned for their losses, but figures out he had placed a trap on the ship, on, on the cargo. And of course, wants to know about the the location of the actual crate. So we kind of see how Bomo stands up for the crew and decides to kind of get the information from not only Hardin but also like two of the other guys as well as Bomo but keeping Ratty and Christ alive. So of course many will put them to work and we see how Hacker says what was in the crate, decoy crate? Nothing you'll need to have been concerned with. If you have dealt with us honestly, no idea say. Your man Lumber is in for a surprise. Here's to a crane getaway, boys. And here's to the look on Hacker's face. Ha <laughs> ha! May he rot! And we kind of see how one of his men asks basically what is in the crate and what and what's so important. But we see how Lombra basically lets his m man know that's for him to know and not for him to find out. And we'll basically have a few more drinks before breaking sleep. And we kind of see how, yeah, yeah, we kind of see how his cautious crew member wants to know what's inside the crate but gets blown up. And we kind of see how, yeah, the planet's been bad, I mean, the ship's been badly damaged. So they managed to find a planet close by to basically find find for repairs. And we see how back on the planet Mimban, we see how Hardan is being tortured. We kind of see how Ratty is made to work in the shipyard. And Christ is now basically a slave girl. And we kind of see how, yeah, by most friends asked him, why did he stand up? up and speak out there when he didn't know about the crate's locations but he pointed out that they weren't really thinking about the situation that could put Christ and Ratty in danger but had to do it for the right reasons so of course one of the one of Hacker's henchmen let Bolo know that he's going to be next and we see how yeah on the planet we see how Lambra and his men find a spare ship and parts that might be in it. And we all know who that ship belongs to. Master Master Key Grunk and the Padawans and that. And we see how they find out it's a ship flying by. And we see how, Mas how Master Pimboo says, Master Craddock, do you see that ship? Do you think that's here to rescue us? Listen to me. Remember the troopers, we don't know who's on that ship. So we kind of see how he points out that they need to set the location, but due to the sort of com link being basically low on power, we see how the Padawans ask, 
Master Pibu Roo, what did Master Keydunk say? He mainly says, I don't know. So we kind of see how Lambro's men get ready to extort the ship for, for spare parts. And we see how Master Keydunk realises this is a full ship of mercenaries and they're heading for the camp. And we see him saying, Primru, take the younglings into the jungle. Do you copy? Pinru! And yes, the comlink being low on power. And we see how Haku basically gets Bomo chained up to, to find out info where the real crate is. Ending the story there and there. So I think issue 8 is okay. Again, it's a filler issue. It's filling in another story that's going to lead to something big and epic. We see how Bomo is trying to make sure to keep the crew alive. We're also going to see how Master Keydunk and what remains of the Powder Wands trying to stay alive. It's another basically average in the mill story. So it definitely deserves a thumbs up. Still good and still alright. So, comic reviewer here. Signing out.